Today, union members and Kaleida Health will meet back at the bargaining table as they push for a new contract with better pay and staffing. The union says if an agreement is not reached, they'll move forward on a vote to authorize a strike. Now, this impacts workers at some of our area's biggest health care facilities. A list here on your screen. News Force Chelsea Lavelle joins us with more. Yeah, good morning, Kelsey and Chris. The two unions that represent Kaleida Health workers are fighting for a new contract that includes better pay and safe staffing. Union members say they've been working for five months to get a new deal, and their last contract expired on July 31st. Now, workers say what they're asking for is not a lot, and it's necessary. Kaleida Health has more than 800 unfilled positions that are open right now. They're asking for a more competitive union contract to fill these roles. Last week, union members took to the streets for an informational picket. They say change is needed to give their patients the care they deserve. It is Clyde's responsibility to invest in its workforce so that the residents of Western New York can receive the care that they need and deserve. They need to invest in their staff so that more health care workers want to work, live, and remain in the Buffalo area. Now, before the picket, Kaleida Health said in a statement that they recognize their employees' right to picket and welcome respectful dialogue. Earlier this month, they said they would negotiate in good faith until an agreement is reached. Now, Kaleida Health is also saying their $200 million proposal is more than twice the last agreement. Picketers say that isn't enough. Reporting in the studio, Chelsea Lavelle, News 4.